And welcome to We Run It. We're up to Division 1 already and the two games to go, Luke. It's gone fast this season. Yeah, around 17 coming up for the Division 1. And um, we will start a bit of controversy during the week for... we start the St. Peter's versus Goody Saints. A bit of controversy during the week we saw. the uh, mm. Was it the sacking? Was it the movement? Was it of the, the Goody Saints coach? Well, he elected not to go on for the remainder of this season once he was told that he was not going to go on next year. That's my understanding of it. So, yeah. Um, yeah, these things play out in football clubs and we don't know what's going on. So, don't The guy's given so much. I don't know. Just the guy that gave him so much for so many years. He's got six or seven grand finals under his belt. So, yeah. But, um, well, we don't know. But um, obviously, it didn't help their cause the, the following week either. So, no. they, they were in the five. They were certainly were in the five. And um, they were playing St. Peter's. You would think that they would have beaten St. Peter's, who was, who was second bottom. Yeah, I said to a few people that, you know, with a little bit of turmoil that was there, that it might have been the game that Goodwood lost, and they did. Yep, and it's uh, only by three points, but it's a loss nonetheless. So yeah. it was uh, St. Peter's 10 7 67 to Goody Saints 9 10 64. So that has blown Goody Saints' as well, not yet, but it certainly no. didn't do their chances of uh, playing the finals. Um, at all, especially to St. Peter's. Well, so, uh, it's opened up the, the final well, four, five, yep. six spots. So, yeah, fourth and fifth now are now opened up. So, um, yeah, but well done to the St. Peter's. A good way to finish the last few games off. So, we've got Wiggins with two, Hazeman with two, uh, Wheat with two, uh, Trenorden, uh, Roach, Roberts, and Fotheringham all with individuals with Hargraves, Kelly, Duncan, Wick, Isa, and Fotheringham in amongst the best players. Yeah, we, we saw them the week before, St. Peter's, and they weren't too bad. Um, they were good in the first half, fell away a little bit against Gullies. But, um, yeah, for Goodwood Saints, they had a Slate kick three, Eric Curls kick two, Hughes, Whaley, Elms and Scarra with singles. Uh, better players, uh, Anthony Scarra, uh, Big Carter and The Ruck. Uh, Levi Elms, who was really good the week before. Travis Tuck and Luke Stanton. Yeah, so we don't yeah, know. We, no, we, no, we, no, don't, yeah. we don't know what's going on. It's hard to speculate. You know. But uh, why do it two games out when they sit in the finals? But hey, look, no one I'm sure the board and the coach are the only ones that know. But uh, yeah, you know, we'll move on to, um, to TJ's mob. Pan Royal Union took on Port Districts, and it was a good win there to Pan Royal Union. Big we, got, win. we got the test message about two seconds after the siren. I think we did, didn't we? Ten, Luke, yeah, but, one by ten. They said. I think he, he exaggerated a little bit. Too, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so it was a. Uh, Port Districts, nine, uh, sorry, Pan Royal Union, 19 goals, 9, 123, so good kicking there to Port Districts, 13, 11, 89. So, no, good win there uh, to paint them, so that puts them in fifth spot, uh, equal with Goody Saints. Um, yeah, but if you have a look, though, now they've got them all back. Look at their goal kickers. Jolly, four. Yeah. Liam Davis, four. Low, two. And they've also got Strato Agarastus with two. Yeah. So all their goal kickers are now back. They're all back, and they're, between them there's 12 goals. So 12 of the of the 19, they're missing these guys early yeah. in the season. So, um, they're all back, ready to go. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're some really good players. So we also saw Nye with two, a former Division One medalist in Brunoli with two. Um, we saw Hanson, the Ruckman. Tyler Brimacombe and Ansel with singles. And, you know, the, the Twin Towers up for We've got Liam Davis and Jolly, yeah. first and best. Brunoli through the midfield. Ansel and Matty Nye. You know, that's, they're starting to get some players back. And they're looking for that fifth spot. Painting. They certainly are. And um, be interesting to see they've got next two games to go. So it's still not over yet by a long shot. So, but the Port District's got Batty with uh, four, uh, mm. Broom with two, and also with Perry with two. Yep. Tiller, Williams, McNamara, Niskaus. Niskahoos, yeah. Niskahoos, yep. And Coulthard uh, with individual goals there. Yep. And with Coulthard, Batty, McInerney, Tiller, and Williams in amongst the best players. Yeah, uh, at Largs, you know, that was a bit of an upset. I, I, uh, I thought um, probably Port Districts would go up. Well, they're um, sitting uh, third, no, fourth now. Fourth, yeah, fourth, fourth. And, you know, they're under a bit of pressure to kick fourth spot too. Yep. Um, only a few weeks ago, everyone was talking them up and they've lost a couple of yep. right Now they're talking about missing out. Yep. So it's all Oops. hotting up. Uh, the next game would go out to Modbury Oval. Uh, we've got uh, Prince Alfred Old Collegians and they just flex their muscles. We saw how good they were a few times this year. 14-15-99 and they beat Modbury 9-7-61. Uh, 
Um, I'm thinking to take a power of beating in September, Prince Alfred. They just come on nicely, they aren't they? Like, so yeah, just for, the right uh, for Modbury we had Verity kick three, we had uh, running rank in junior to two, Toddy Stanton, Burns, Gibson and Toddy Davey with singles. Best players are the big ruck and the big Matty Bennett, uh, Hoffmeyer through the midfield, Tim Davey, um, uh, Phillips and Hoffmeyer. For Prince Alfred Old Legends, um, up forward, got a good collection of forwards up here. We've got Big Pip with three, Will Dowwood, their ruckman, must have rolled forward, kick three, um, Castry with two, Seacles, yeah. good player up forward, uh, kick two, Crawford with two, Cameron Gratz, who's just a star, uh, he's a very good player, he kick one, Latch with no, kick no. one. Um, they got some very good players in the Prince Alfred side. Better players, McNamara, Latchford, Will Dowwood, um, Hayden Jolly, um, yeah. the former Gold Coast Suns player, very good player. Pitt and Siebels, there's, there's some players up forward who can roll forward and kick a goal. Um, yeah, they're a very good side. But um, look, Mobbury are no far out of the relegation stage yet, so they're just only one game clear of St. Peter's, who yeah. beat the Goody Saints last week, so you never know. I'm not sure what happens to Soldier North. Can No, they're gone. They're gone, are they? Yeah, I'm not sure how they, they calculate that, but obviously they are definitely playing Division 2, but we'll yep. talk about that shortly. So then we move on to Teacher Gully. Teacher Gully, Salisbury North. Yep. So Teacher Gully, look, they're um, obviously they're one of the mites. They're um, seeing third at the moment. Taking up, we just talked about um, Soldier North, who will be relegated. So it's a good win there, Teacher Gully. They've come good. Yep. In the last couple of weeks. Had four, four weeks with on uh, four, four losses in a row. Now there are two wins, so it's starting to come down. So we've both seen them close up too with the games we called out there as well. So we've seen that they have been uh, getting stronger and stronger each week. So they yep. had a bit of a, a lull there in the middle. But it was 15. They had some injuries too. Yeah, they so, yeah. They've come back now. So that was in the middle of the year, but they've all come back now. So. Yeah. It was a teacher gully 15 goal 17 107 uh, defeated Soldier North 7 7 49. So uh, teacher gully Millville well, he's been great all year with them with six. Yeah, kick uh, six. Yeah, Persnos he's always amongst the best players and goal kickers with two. Yep. Um, Hollander, Hunter, he's yeah, always there he, too. He was good the other week and he's been good all year. Hunts the footy, doesn't he? Yeah, exactly. junkyard dog. Yeah, junkyard. <laughs> uh, Tiggerman, Shellmaker. I mean the, the brothers that they're both firing. They you can't you can't lose them. Um, McKay, Zach McKay, mate, he's just a little nuggy, little rover, he's always hard at it. Always at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, mate, he's the toughest I've seen. Uh, Stent, mate, you see his name every week with Martin as well. Yeah, young fella, young Martin, he does well. Played, yep. played well the week before against St Peter's, a uh, little purple patch there. Yeah. yeah, and again, the best players out there, as I said, we've, we've mentioned Sandico these back in the back half there. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Chris Dow, is it? Is it? Uh, uh, Dow, uh, Dow, the big rockman. Yeah, Clint massive, Dow, Clint, Clint Dow. Dow, sorry, he's yep. a massive, massive unit. Jaden Blank, the young fella, yep. uh, Melville and Cox. Yeah, so, so look, just the same names coming up, same names give everything to teach regard each week. So again, I think we're just getting ready for the finals. Oh, and they've also won, had a good win over Salisbury North. Yep. And you haven't seen the names in the best players, you haven't seen the two McKays, you haven't seen a stent. Uh, you know, you didn't see a person lost. Mm. So, you know, yep. there's a lot of players uh, you know, who weren't named, so that's also a good good sign for, for Gullies. It certainly is. And then, uh, so look, Sawyer's North really go. Teachers go there before up two games to go. It would be interesting to see whether they finish, um, well, it doesn't remember, third or second. I don't think they can uh, finish fourth or fifth, which would be good. So they'll either they'll get a double chance, but right, regardless of whether they be at PAC or it's going to be Teacher Gully. Yeah, we'll so. just go over Salisbury North, goal yeah. kicks and best players. Russ over yeah. two. Uh, Bradley Hood, a single. Um, Cough Dermot, hyphenated, to kick the single. Um, Sharp, Aegis and Stengel with singles. Better players with Hood, Lawler, Benny Wiles, Wagner and, uh, and Sharp. Um, so yeah, good win to Gullies and um, just starting to flex their muscles again after a month of uh, outs. That's it. And we go to the last game of the round. So LA University taking Ross Trevor. Now this is a bit close for comfort Ross Trevor. Again, we don't know what Ross Trevor injuries or something, but uh, we do only by five points to LA Uni who aren't in the finals. Mm. Uh, but nonetheless, it's a win. So Ross Trevor 11 10 76. LA University 10 11 71. So same scoring shots, it's just 10 11, 11 10 the other way around. But uh, it could have been a different story for. Uni at, uni at home always yeah, yeah. give you run for their money. Yeah, exactly. But More than a run for money many times. Uh, probably, some, some very good sides go to University Oval and get smashed. They still have a slim chance of making the finals. It's oh, two games to go. Yeah, it's, they're eight, even though they're sitting uh, seventh, they've still got a chance of making the oh, finals. Yeah. So. But we've got Ross Trevor, we've got um, Bacanello with two, Fantasia with two, um, 
Holmes, Holmes, yep. Jordan Littler, Holm, Manuel, Dinaman, Dinham, and Allen with uh, each with singles. With best players, O'Malley, Damasis, Allen, Littler, Wilkie, and Holm in amongst the best players. Yeah, for uni, um, we had Shaws with three, Langridge with two, good player Langridge. Uh, Lucas Antonatis uh, kicked a single, Seb Painter, uh, um, Langridge, and uh, Noonan and Taylor, better players were the defender, ex North LA player Donald Cunningham, Cunningham yep. Seb Painter, Parker, Cameron, Schultz, and Neville. And, um, that was the spirit of performance from Adelaide University against. The top side. Yeah. Uh, I think there's only three sides that can win it. Um, Ross Trevor, PAC, Teacher Go, you're saying in the band final? Yeah, or? I think there's only three sides that can win it, personally. Yeah. Best two sides I've seen all yeah, the year. Yeah, Port just started, they're just starting to they're not pull their strings, I think, coming to the finals. And well, Port Payne and all you know, but. Um, Probably left their run a little bit too late. Yeah, best two sides I've seen all year. When they're at their best, playing at their best, is Ross Trevor and PAC. I think they're the best two sides. Gullies people think they'd have a chance. I just think they're just a smidgen off. Yep. Just a smidgen. Yep. But, no, but they're the only three I think. Can win. But, um, anyway, for this week's games, very interesting first up we're here. We've got at Goody Saints, a take on Mobbury. Now, because of what's happened out there at Goody Saints, and obviously they lost last week to. St. Peter's, is there obviously player revolt or player that, why do they do this at their we don't two know. games that we don't know, but I think, I'm going to back Mobbery in this one, I think... Um, if it was at home, I would, but not at Goodwood. Don't think at Goodwood still? Maybe last week might have rubbed off and it's, it's all come to the surface, mm -hmm. whatever's going on, and maybe the players, you know, will now know that they have to win this week and play finals. Well, that's still, yeah, that's a good point, but I'm still going for Mobbery. Yeah, no, I'll go, with, I'll go with Goodwood. I think, yep. I think a week, week's a long time in footy, mm -hmm. and I think they'll dust themselves off after last week's shock, internal, sh mm -hmm. whatever's going on, and I think we'll see Goodwood come out and win. Um, if it was a Modbury, ooh, a tough place to play if it's a bit wet and the parochial crowd and things yeah. like that. But um, <laughs> yeah. at Goodwood, I'll take Goodwood. Then we've got uh, PAC, you take on... Uh, Bottom side or second bottom, second bottom side, St Peter's. I think passing on is quite comfortably over there. Yeah, I think Modbury will, will know that too. I can't see Prince Alfred. They've been winning really last week against Goody Saints, but I think it's going to come right off the field against PAC. Different, different class here. We're yeah. playing against Prince Alfred now. They're, uh, they're an elite side. So, yeah. yeah, they're just a really good side. We'll probably come back to. Oh, I'll talk about this one. So, we've got, well, I think it's probably the match of the round. Oh, right? easy. Pain yeah. Lord Union take on Teacher Gully at. Pan Nord Union, That's which we are calling this yeah, game. Live broadcast. This live one, broadcast. Yeah. Mixler, do, dial in. So Mixler, uh, uh, yeah, get on to the Mixler phone app or if you the ground on 88.4 yep. FM, um, either on the car radio, transistor, in the footy club, wherever you are. So listen but, live. But um, Pan Nord, they're coming on good right now, which is good. They've got all the, as you said before, that all the, the top players are getting back in the best players. And I think all the injuries, they're coming back in as well. McIntosh has probably got him up and running. He's got to fight out for the finals. Same I'm as Gullies, though. They're starting to get the yeah, way as Still going to go for Pan Nord Union this week at home. So am I. Uh, by goal. So am I. Yeah. Well, I think playing him, playing him at home, at home, to be different with St. Peter Ringer, I think. But at home... Payment is starting to come good, and we talk about the fact that you know you have a look at their goalkeepers, you know, Jolly Davis, yeah, right. Lowe, um, Strata Agarastas, all starting to, to fire up Kevin Gullies. Yes, agreed. Uh, yeah, I'm not so sure that Gullies got, you know, Big Sandico is going to have to get, mm. go to Jolly, don't know who gets Davis, they're going to have to watch Agarastas getting out yep. the back, he flies out the back, I don't know who's going to have the speed to go to Agarastas. Um, yeah, I'll take home. Yep. Uh, probably a not sort of a game this one. I think Ross Trevor take on Saul, or is that Saul's North? So Saul's North feed Ross Trevor. So I reckon this is going to be an out of the park game by about 20 goals. Yeah, Ross Trevor will want to flex their muscles. They do, they, absolutely. They, they got beaten against Mobbery the week before. They got taken to five points. Maybe they're doing that extra pre-season mm. now. You know what I mean? We're talking about a side that's sitting top. It's getting flogged. They, yeah, yeah, they're getting flogged on the track. Yep. The tape is starting to come off towards finals. I, I would suggest something like that's happening out yeah. there. Because you can do it when you're three games quick. Absolutely. And uh, 
And the uh, final game, Adelaide University take on Port Tishas. Adelaide Uni must win. I mean, no doubt, must, must win to keep their finals hopes alive because they're sitting seventh, but only on percentage. And you've got Port Districts with, again to keep... Disappointing losses. only one game clear. So you've got fourth versus seventh. There's only one game between them. Disappointing loss last week to Districts. Yeah, it was. At yeah. home. You know, like, I'd never tip against Districts at home. And um, we've got um, Alan, you, you just said before too, Luke, that uh, they're very hard to beat at home. Yeah. Funny over that one, it's out sort of in the middle of nowhere, beautiful ground, beautiful, well, it's got the grandstand there. But, yeah, um, oh, it's a beautiful oval, but to me it's the uh, the grass there. The, you get that really thick mm. coating of grass on there, and your springstone often dig into the soil mm. underneath, and you see a lot of blokes go to go to ground, they, they skate along the ground there, because it's so lush, but you have to really dig those spikes in. I reckon a lot of blokes play, everyone now plays in moulded salts, and uh, they, oh, absolutely. it's a really hard ground to keep your feet at. And, um, I'm going for Adelaide Uni. At home, I think they've, been, they've done okay the last few weeks. Against um, There's only one game between these two sides. So No, I'm going to go with this, you know. You've got to back them. You know, I, think, I think they'll win. Well, I'm not, not too sure about it, but I think, uh, I think they'll win. That's all for Division 1 with uh, two games to go with Division 1 and we'll see you next week with results. Thank you. See you later.